Do you have way too many gift bags laying around? Well, I've got an idea. Now I'm doing this with just a regular old brown one, but you could do it with any of the colors or patterns. But what we're looking for is the handles where you can just pull them off. Um, so I know some bags are not made that way, but we're gonna do something with these handles. So I pulled both of them off of there, and then we will um, set those aside for now. And then I grabbed this Dollar Tree stencil, and you guys, I love these stencils. They are so handy, they clean up well, and this one I've used a lot. So I'm just going to use some painter's tape and tape it down. Now, be careful if you are going to do this on a bag. <laughs> because we need to make sure when we pull that painter's tape up that we don't pull any of the fibers of the bag up. So I'm just using some chalk paint here and just kind of dabbing it through. And you guys, I'm not getting the paint perfectly perfect in there. I like when it has a little bit of a distressed look where you get a little bit of paint here and maybe a little bit more over here because um, y'all know I love the distress. So once we get that all done, I'm going to gently um, pull the tape off of there and then we're going to move on to the next step after this dries. And I was a little, I know I was a little impatient, so I used the hairdryer to dry it. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the bags in the corners and we're going to pretty much be folding the bag down. So it looks like, remember with the old school lunches bags, we used to be able to fold them down. Well, this bag is a little bit stiffer, so that's why I cut them and I would fold and then I just continue to go down as far as I, in my head, I was thinking that I'll go farther down however I want, you know, however far down we want to go. Now, you could just fold it over once or twice. Um, I went down four times. Yeah, well, three, well, four folds. No, that would be one, two, three, four folds. Okay, there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, counting. Um, so I just hot glued it all into place and I did that on all four of the sides. And again, I did dry this with my hair dryer, um, the paint on the other side, but just be careful just in case. I mean, it dried up pretty good, so not super worried about it. Um, okay, so now here's where we're gonna reuse them. So we're gonna do them on the opposite ends of this gift bag. So I just kind of did a little snip of how far I wanted it, uh, or you know, the excess I needed to cut it off and trim the first one and then just held it up to the second one and then just trimmed that down since they're the same sizes. And then I'm just going to hot glue these in on the opposite ends. You guys, I was thinking about this. We could use this for decorative purposes. We could also use this for storage purposes of other things. I was thinking like scrapbook paper. I was thinking tissue paper because y'all have got a lot of tissue paper or even greenery. We could make these into also, I thought, really cute little bags um, to give like, you know, treats to friends or something like that. So just to add a little embellishment, I put a little twine over there and then I've got some dried flowers um, that I'm going to put at the front of it. But the possibilities are endless. And I thought these would be super cute as birthday bags too. Like if we had one um, that was already pre-done and then we just kind of folded it down and moved the handles. I think it's just like a fun different way of looking at the bags. So here's that um, dried greenery, or it's not really greenery, dried stuff. <laughs> that I'm putting down. I'm just going to twist it around um, the twine there and then end up hot gluing it into place. That way it really stays. Um, but again, just make sure the handles of your bag are able to be taken off so that you can reposition them. So here's how it turned out. Ah, I'm in love with this. I think every birthday bag and Christmas bag from here on out will look like this in my house. All right, follow for more. Thanks, friends.